Oh, I'm just going to take so we're back in the episode. So I'm just going to go right and we're going to start the episode right now. How about that? Identify yourself. Annette Birkin. She's who we're looking for? Not much time. Need to dispose of it. We're here for the G virus. <laughs> That's not going to happen. I'm warning you, Doctor. Oh, yeah? Hey! Stop! Ada! You'll never get the G virus! I didn't expect that from a scientist. Uh. Leon. Forget about me. Just go. Stop her before she gets away. Oh. Outside the facility, in pursuit of Annette. If it's not on her, it must be in the nest. Once it's in hand, I'll call for the stretch. First of all, you can run, Annette, but you can't hide. First of all, I do need to show you that. Well, besides Leon not looking like he's injured at all, just taking a freaking nap. But yeah, classic police. He's still there. Jacket's still there. I don't change my costume at all. I'm still Ada in the red dress that we all know and love. Nothing changes on this version, unlike Sherry, who got a different look. I did call that a trench coat the 1.5 trench coat last episode. I do need to make a correction and expansion on that a little bit. But I'll do that after we break open. Because there's a cutscene here. Secret weapon time. Yeah, we gotta hack this. I called the jacket the 1.5 beta jacket, but she's actually a lot more different than I first looked at. Candy from a baby. One of the uh, reformulated versions of her used a trench coat after she became Resident Evil 2's partner to Leon. That's where she got the red dress and everything. Before that, she was an umbrella researcher and Dr. Ada Wong. She had a red sweatshirt and shorts or pants, depending on the look that they were going with. She also had a lab coat with Umbrella's logo on it. So yeah, she got a real change. Yeah, shut up. I gotta get rid of a file over here and then we're going. The reason I said black is because sometimes she also wore cocky shorts instead of black pants, so... She's one of the only ones that have finished models besides... John and Sherry. So, that's a thing. Change up from when I first did this, we're going this way to the right. I know this is a bit of the sewers are just terrible to my computer and are freaking mean. So you know stuttering, that's why. He's gonna fall, you run forward, and you hack this real quick. You run over to the right here, we're gonna grab the ammo. When I first did this, I tried to do it without using the handgun, we're not gonna do that here. We got an idiot that's gonna come walking towards us, we're gonna try to trip him. Fall down. Never mind. If you can't trip him, don't worry, just keep running. Throw a grenade after you pass this corner. You can throw it beforehand, run by both of them, but I prefer to do it after. It's your choice. If you gotta take them both down like that, do it then, if not later. 
If you're fast enough, there won't be a zombie here. If not, you might have to pop a zombie right here at this corner. Looks like I was fast enough. So we're going up. Huh. I might have got stuck in the room because I grabbed the file. And that's going that way. And that's taking a secret wall. Be careful about it though. I am trying to calm my computer down so we can do this a little smoother, but there's not much I can do. Right here is the thing you want to hit. I tried doing this in the blind run, but I couldn't do it. I did it this time. The reason why we do that before we go forward is we're going to have a little bit of fun. I'm going to see what's trying to cause this problem, see if I can fix it. Because trust me, if it's annoying you, it's annoying me three times as much. See, this is the problem. Uh, I do believe I did reboot right before I did this, so it might be a download. So I might be trying to update. If I had the PS4 version, I wouldn't be complaining, but I need a PS4. I need to set that up. It'd be a mess. And yeah, Nemesis is now after us. Here's the switch we gotta pull after you open the door. Pull that. Run forward. You can start hacking whenever, but... There's handguns here if you really, really must. But yeah, just pull this thing. Pop. See, I got everything on the map. Go through. They're now safe from trench. You can walk. You can run. You can swing. do -si do Whatever you want to do. Just go forward. That was the hard part. Once you get to this area, it's all downhill from here. There's a file telling you where to go. It literally tells you wristband incinerator in green. It's in there. You're pulling the switch. You know someone's going to try to cook Ada into Thanksgiving dinner in a few moments. You know it's coming. Like if you were surprised on that, that there could be nothing that could go wrong at all, then you're mistaken. By the way, if you are playing your first run and you are looking for a coon, make sure you pop that one, otherwise you're doing this run again. The one during Leon's areas in the sewers and, well, from Leon before the gator to after Ada, you can't go back to there, so. Bravo. Gonna burn me alive now. You'll never get your filthy hands on the G. I'm not the only one after it. You realize that. And you won't die alone. Notice I was pointing to where we gotta put our pointer. You gotta start the three engines by first starting the power in the bottom left of the incinerator. Pop an engine. Turn the switch. Pop an engine. And then turn this switch and pop an engine as you slowly walk up to make your escape. Once the door opens, the thing stops. Yeah, we definitely know what we're doing, Ada. Oh, wait, you meant Annette. Sorry, everyone calls you the bitch in the red dress, so I thought you were talking about... I don't think anyone's going to return before October 1st, if you know what I mean. But yeah. I wonder if we can pop the zombie that's down there, because we are passing down there later. Huh. There's a herb down there. Well, there's the herb, but there's no... Oh, there's no zombie. Oh. That would have been funny if you can pop him early, because then I don't have to do a strategy later on. And all this ammo wouldn't go to waste. Oh well. Enough with this cat and mouse game. The game is over. You lost. Tell me, is your husband still alive? Or did you kill him? 
so you could take credit for G. Interesting theory. You don't cooperate. I'll get a sample from the nest. Over my dead body. Damn it. Yeah, we don't get to see the arm damage in this version. Ada, where are you? And yeah, we can't go that way. If that was Tyrant. What did he just... He could have taken out Leon when he passed by, but no. So why is, that, is, why is it damaged? I don't know, because you had to defend to get up there. I mean, it's one of those things that makes, like, no sense. <laughs> Unless somehow blowing both fans took it all out. It's a weird assessment, but yeah, it's like, one of those things that's like, huh? Meanwhile, we're going down here. Once you hop down, there's no going back. If there's anything you need in the prior areas, get it now. You're now committed. What you got is what you have. Oh yeah, fill your nose with, you know. Please don't eat during this episode. It's not gonna be good for you. Coming this way will alert a zombie. Or at least it should. It does on the A run. Note the B run has different hijinks. We are going to come up onto this platform here, this ledge. We're officially out of the water now, for now. There's a videotape here, we'll take that for later. That does count as a file, if I remember correctly. The guys here will not wake up, so don't worry about them. But there should be a guy here. Or might be on an A run. I think he's not here on B, so I think we're good. Either way, is that guy there? Is that guy up there? Fly head off to both of them. And then restock your supply of head off and apply directly to the forehead of this guy here. Unfortunately, that guy's not going to get head off applied to him because he's now running at us. So take him out however you see fit. If you want a shotgun and hold on one, go ahead. If you want to use your handgun and reserve on a little bit of shotgun, do that. It's up to you. I'm just showing you the enemies and what ones you definitely need to take out no matter what. 
you can take him out if you want. Don't take the plug. Do not take the plug. Do not take the plug. You are not dead. I wish you would get dead because you should be dead. Good try lunging at me, sir, but that's not going to work. I missed you, but I won't miss this next one. Pop to the head. Please fall over. Are you done? Yeah, hi. You're waving at me. Good, you are done. Do not take that. That door we cannot go in yet, so ignore the item. Always you'll be stuck on this end until you put the item back in. Because that door needs a key. That door over there needs a key. This is the item you do not take. We'll get that later. We will come back for that. You can see that it's connected to another path. So do not worry. We will be back for it. It's a key item. We need it for a puzzle later, but we got to get to that puzzle first and open up an alternate way. There is a knife down here. Do not forget about it if you need one or if you want one extra for later. Depending on how your knives are doing. The game will give you plenty of them and having an extra is always a good thing. Because you never know or you might lose one. In this area, you want to have an extra at all times. We're now entering the poop section. And yes, I lagged on my end too. Claire comes in through there, by the way. So yeah, Claire can also get stuck in here too. So we're now met up with where Claire is. The routes have reconjoined together. Here is a herb. They're giving you a lot of blue herbs for a reason. Entering the water. I hate the water area. I think it's the water that's causing all this lag. Because the game hates the sewer area. Well, the computer hates the sewer area. So it might be too intense for our normal recording. Plus updating. Oh yeah, it's having a bad time. Right there you can see uh, poop monster, G monster, shit monster. Wish you wouldn't be freaking here monster. We're going to make him pop up by getting closer and doing that, but not too close, and then we're going to run around him and hop up. He's going to send his spawn after us, but we're already gone. We are gone. He can sit there and do whatever he wants. As long as he stays in that corner, we're good. We're now coming up this ladder, this staircase. Cable car. Interesting. Interesting. Right there, have you been following the project since the blind runs? That's my last file. Might be yours if you've been playing through three of the four runs too. If you have not, and this is your second run, make sure you watch the other side or note where the files are that Leon can only get on a B run because they're the same files Claire can only get on a B run. That's important. Here's some ammo. And the locker over here is the lock on it. But before we do that, here's an email we've already read like three times. This code right here is SZF or do you like jazz? You'll see why when I tell you why it's that. Magnum ammo, we'll need that later. This saves us coming back here later because it's a first run knowledge. We've already got on the A run, we know it on the B run. And here's a map, if you need it. But yeah, we're halfway through the sewers almost already. There'll probably be like three episodes to get through the sewers, because they're just so long and arduous. But yeah, that's what we're in for. Here's a file on Knight's Construction. Here's a video cassette, enjoy a tape recording.
Ezra's wrath spread it. And there we go. I'm going to end the episode where I bank some stuff. Next episode, we will get on to the next area. And, well, you know. <sighs> so, yeah. We're done with this. I'm going to end the episode here. Hope you have fun. See you on the next one where we go through the sewers even more. See you then.